What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel of Absolute Rebuilds. On today's video we got a Renault Clio with some ignition problems. Um, she's sputtering a lot and also not firing on all cylinders. So we need to check that out and get rid of the problem. The first thing that we did is we tried the code scanner to check if there were any codes in the car. Unfortunately it's a bit older car so nothing popped up. So we needed to check it the old school way. There are just a few things that it could be. It could be the ignition coil, the spark plug wires or the spark plug itself or some type of camshaft or crankshaft transfer. But those would pop up in the scanner. So this is something that we don't suspect. So we got the other things that we need to check. And I'm going to explain you a little bit how you can check those. If you want to check your spark plug cables, all, all you need to have is a bottle of soapy water. So a bit of water and some soap, mix it all together and spray it on the spark plug wires. Maybe turn off the light, start the car. Then you can see the misfire, the sparks uh, on the soapy water. And then you know which wire is faulty. The next thing that we can do is remove the spark plug from the spark plug hole. Enter the spark plug inside the wire, get yourself some plier, let the body fire up the car and check with the pliers, hold the spark plug to the ground uh, somewhere on the engine block and see if it's firing. Most of the time if a spark plug isn't working at all, it's easy to see which one is not working correctly, but it could also be that on the higher RPMs the spark plug is not firing correctly. So to go back to the beginning, change them out, they're not that expensive. The last part are the ignition coils, which can go bad. You got, it depends on make and model, you have the individual uh, ignition coils per cylinder, or you got, in this case, you got one block with the wires attached into the blocks. So you can also not change out the spark plug wires individually. So what we're going to do is change out the spark plugs and check if she's firing any better. And by the way guys, these are very small spark plugs. You need a 916 socket to remove them. So we changed out the spark plug and unfortunately she isn't running any better. Uh, we tried to do the soapy water and the wire seems to be okay. So we need to change out the ignition uh, box. And unfortunately, we also need to buy the complete set, so with wires. You cannot buy them separately. You need to buy the complete set with ignition cores and wires. Hopefully she will fire better. You want to keep in mind that there is a certain firing order that you need to keep. Otherwise the car will start running very poorly. So what I always like to do is follow the old sequence first. So you need to install the block like this. So we remove the first one. And then replace it with a new one. Then the second one. Now you always know that the firing order is correct.
fingers crossed that she runs fine now. We just wanted to go out on a test drive, but we noticed that one of the lamps is out and we don't want to find because that's very expensive here in Holland. Okay guys, so we got the car purring like a kitten again, she got all her horsepower back. Guys, if you like this video on troubleshooting and how to troubleshoot for yourself, we got some amazing things coming in the future for the Absolute Rebuilds channel. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell because we're going to do something great. Catch me howling now.